People now do two times two, three, three times two, four, as bad English get us. We check out for Jimmy and Kao. By the way, I'll get two times two, three, two times two, two times two, four, three times three, six. We end up three times three, six. Three, three, three times three. That's crap. Three times three, nine. Three times three, nine. Bad English. Six times, six times two, twelve. Six times two, twelve. One plus one, two. Not one plus one. One plus one. That's bad English. Two plus two, four. Four plus four, eight. Eight plus eight, sixteen. Sixteen plus sixteen, thirty-two. That's it. And good night, good night, one. Thirty-two. 21, 22, 21, 22. And we check out the numbers. You'll see the different video. And in the meantime, um, that was a Maccabi name. That was number 13. Number 14. Actually, I'm here at your room. You have a people. And then you watch another children. I want to leak orange. It's why I want to leak orange or transliteration and raw. Okay, I want to eat orange. Eat orange. Therefore, let me mention the things you eat. You eat bananas. You eat cucumber. You eat oranges. You don't want to, you don't want to leak. I want to leak orange. No. By the way, by the way, you have an orange or orange or found number six. It's about that. So, are you want to eat oranges? Oranges? Groundnuts? Yeah, have one groundnut. All groundnuts. Ground. It moves a while. It will give more nuts. I want to eat oranges. I want to eat groundnuts. I want to eat cucumber. I want to eat um, um, uh, pineapple. Pineapple. I want to eat. Uh, I want to eat biscuits. I want to eat chocolate. I want to eat ice cream. You don't leak ice cream, you eat ice cream, chocolate, you eat them. Because if it was just a matter of leaking, what can I go down? Well, that's not how you take your ice cream. There's a cup, there's a small spoon with which you scoop it into your mouth. Into your mouth. When you scoop it, we see about doing this. That's more like chewing. You eat it. The oranges you take, you, you squeeze the orange into your mouth. What about remnants? Of uh, fragments or particles. You eat them. See, you're eating, you're eating the orange. You're eating cucumber. You're eating bananas. You're eating um, uh, uh, whatever you call it. Salsa. You don't have a Or salsa. You eat it. Guava. You eat it. Name them. Okay. That was number 14. The final number here says Actually, you're not an ice cream. We already mentioned that. Now, I want to leak ice cream. Wrong. British English were singing. I want to eat ice cream. Correct. I was thinking, note, you eat oranges, ice cream, bananas, pineapple, pear, salsa. You don't leak them. So, if we go to the car, can you come to the car? Yes, I want to Go to your good thing. Or I'll go in. Get in a way. I got the bottom. I got one here. I got this again. I got this Boom, boom, boom. You get a good guy in there. 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 We must do something to promote Igbo language. Igbo language cannot be allowed to die like that. We must hold it sacrosanct. I said you were good. It wouldn't be quite hard. Thank you very much. I'll see you later.
Yeah. Um, uh, I think I've been here how to use or translate switch off, involve, privilege, coming, insulting, calculating, enmity, miss. What you need to do the mind is easy or not. They got me. Or the calculative. They got me. Or the insulting. They got me. Or on two missed call. They got me. Are you involved? They got me. I can admit that the less privilege. They got me. Don't you have the cunning? He didn't have to work in violation of the ones that he now work. You see how that comes. And then can deal with it again. You can see it. Number one, no, 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 when you use is plus switch. I could not say, although I suppose, although I suppose, I can mention your whole car, car, very wrong. So, God, I'm about the phone, yeah, but the phone is switched off. Wrong. The phone is switched off. Correct. Switched off. You must do that reflection correctly. That's why again. That was number one. Number two, I say, Ibu, I was say, Isu, Isu, I was say, when I was using that, Uba, and so you, they came in a class, I was say, can't remember what Isu, I said, so you, and I make Nibu, all the correct, Nibu grammar, yes, with the correct, but on the English grammar, there's a problem. In Nigeria, they will say, are you involved in the other bit? Now British English, who was able? Are you involved? No, I'm not involved. That is the right thing. Okay. Okay, it's always. Can you get hundi and we got a can you get hundi and we got a and you will get let us go and see. No, no, let us go and visit the less privileged. The less privileged. British English, yes, again. Let us go and visit the less privileged. The less privileged. That's what it should be. Let us go and visit the less privileged. Are you involved? No, I'm not involved. Are you involved? I'm not involved. Bad English. The less privileged. Correct. The less privileged. Wrong. But yeah. I'm going to cause a gas again. Number four said, Can you get home the way in the Nana? Or see, let us go and visit the motherless baby. Oh, motherless baby. Motherless baby. Let's go and visit the motherless babies. The motherless. The person who is about to be correct. Augusta, you are pure. Or collected pure. The motherless. The motherless babies. I broke I the motherless baby. You are showing the girls' school. I don't want to embarrass but the evil evil society. Um number five for say. I'm a key now. I'm a key now. Oh, I say I'm okay, you're very cunning. That's Nigerian English. I'm okay, you're very cunning. British English, yes. I'm okay. I'm okay. You are cunning. So, how could I say to you are very cunning? What are they cunning? What are they cunning? Cunning. Cunning is C U N N Y. C U N N Y. Cunning. Cunning. C U N N I N G. Cunning. That's the right thing to say. Okay. Because I was talking. Um, number six, where's it? Mwana, I'm very mad. Where's it? This girl is very insultive. Eh, eh. I don't have to say that. 
Mother now has something insulting. Mother now has insulting. So in Nigerian English, us again, Mwana Bari Man. Um or I said, this girl is very insulting. Raw. British English. This girl is very insulting. Correct. Can I say what I guess? In a very part. It is insolent. It is saucy. You're not respectful. When you have done insulting, there's no word like insulting in the dictionary. I got very insulting. Okay. So what's next there? Number seven say, Oh, well, am I in a... Am I in a mother for them? Now, food with your abo. Nee, boy, yeah, now be careful. Now, you don't English, and you ask, Oh, I have to miss call. Oh, bad English. Or what I want to miss. Or what I want to calls. Okay, British English. I have two missed calls. Two missed calls. Okay. Number eight. Number eight, guess it. But tell me, what can I do, Panko? Okay, what's it? Nigerian English, what's it? Be careful. That man is very calculative. That's bad English. I want to hear. You're not calculative. You're calculating. That man is calculating. That's what it should be in English. Calculating. Meaning, on in cop, on a brain, be careful what to do with the man. He might beat you at the game, swindle you, let you down, whatever you want to be. So, I want to hear about tense and aspect. So, in cap, get that about past perfect aspect. I got a bear. I want me a lover's ear. So, so, yes, when you go, so I can be careful. Anyway, I said, I went to his house, but did not see him, so I have to go. I have to leave. No. Was, look at the note he gave you here. He says, You already used went and did, which are past forms. So you cannot use have, which is a present form. Your choice of verb should be he had. Or should be have, rather. Your choice of verb should be had. Now, I was saying, I went to his house. I didn't see him. I had to leave. I had to leave. Not I have to leave. I went to his house. I didn't see him, so I have to leave. That's bad English. And I saw him when I got to school. I went to your house. I didn't see you, so I had to leave. I had to leave. Past tense, past tense, past tense. I went to your house. Past tense. I didn't see you. Past tense. I had to leave. Past tense. You don't mix present tense with past tense. Good. Number 10, we're singing. Emma Bonyam. Oh my God, Sonia. Do you know me before? <laughs> you cannot say, do you know me before? Why? Before or past sense. I'm just saying tense. Before, when I ask you, no, it's present tense. So that past sense and past tense. Pre sorry, I'm present tense cannot go. The way he said is this. Do you know me? Simple. Use it in the simple present. Imoyambo. Do you know me? Imabu. Do you know me? Okay, the same thing. Do you know me? It's here. Eh, I know you. Do you know me before? It's wrong. Come on, see. Have you met? Met is past tense of our of our meet. So you can always say, have we met? If you put before with met, no problem. Because met is the past tense of meet. Before is past sense. So they're, they're still, they're, both of them refer to the past situations. So that's correct. So, do you know me? Don't put anything. Have we met? Correct. Have we met before? Good. Um, number 11, we're CIA. Ntoi nek. Ntoi nek. Yeah, ntoi yere tiye na ulo nebo. Air something. For the beginning of the bag, I say it. Air condition nek. Look at the Nigerian English. Air condition is blue. Which was? Air condition is blue. Oh. Even 
I don't know where we learned these things from. Maybe from the air. But frankly speaking, you will see somebody, he will hear what is correct and he wouldn't use it. Now, suddenly he hears what is wrong and he begins to use it. And he thinks, 